The WordPress quote block presents an easy way to display a quote from an external source. It displays the text with a quotation mark and includes a caption to add a citation. It's a simple block, but using it within your content can draw the reader's attention and add some emphasis to your text. You can add quotes to your website's posts and pages just as you would with any other block. Simply press the plus icon, type in quote, and select it. Optionally, you could type forward slash quote and hit enter to do the same thing. To use it, simply enter or paste the text you'd like to display where it says add quote. Under the quote is a small line of text labeled add citation where you'll add the reference to the quote, which can include the name, title, date, publisher, link, etc. The design itself will vary depending on the theme you're using. You could add pre-made designs by pressing this icon up here, going to patterns and searching for quote. As you can see, here are two pre-made designs. The quote block includes settings and options within the block and on the right sidebar. The toolbar is placed above the block and this appears when you select it. The first icon allows you to transform to a couple of different options like paragraph, group, columns, list, heading, and pull quote. And there's even styles, which if you hover over any of these, you will see a preview of how the quote will look. Group would be a good choice if you want to style the background, add a border, and add spacing. Next is the drag tool, which is represented by six dots and it lets you drag the block. The move tool, which has the up and down arrows, moves the block up or down through your content with a click. The next option is for alignment, which includes left, center, and right. This aligns the content to the side you choose. Unlike other blocks, it does not include wide and full width options, and it does not wrap the block with the paragraph under it. You could add wide and full width options by transforming the block into a group. Bold and italic styles the text you're highlighting. Use them together or independently. The next button adds a URL to the text you've highlighted. You can set it to open the link in a new tab. Then we have the more options, which allows us to style the text. This includes inline code, inline image, keyboard input, strike through, subscript, superscript, and text color. When you choose the color, you can choose from a pre-selected color or a custom color from the color picker, or by entering the hex code, RGB code, or HSL code. And finally, the last option, the three dots here, lets us show more settings, copy, duplicate, insert before or after, move to, edit as HTML, add to reusable blocks, group, and of course, remove block. The sidebar is accessible by pressing the cog icon here at the top right of the screen, and that gives us a couple of different options for styles in advanced. Styles shows two options, the default and large style. Both show a preview of how the quote would look, and styles, of course, can vary depending on your theme. You can also choose which one will be your default style. The advanced settings are like all of the other blocks. The HTML anchor allows you to create a URL so you can link to the block. Additional CSS classes field is where you'd add any CSS classes you want to use. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.